disruption of energy. Uh, how, how do you foresee that? Well, what's happening is that the cost of things like solar power, uh, battery energy storage, wind power, offshore wind, are all just in free fall. And they're all falling tremendously faster than the forecasters have, have ever predicted. I'm a forecaster myself, and I was called a crazy optimist. In 2011, I said by 2015, we'd have solar as cheap as coal in some parts of the world. And everyone, energy industry, people in solar, environmentalists told me I was crazy. And I was wrong because it actually happened faster than expected. Wow. And so now in the sunny parts of the world, solar is often a third the price of fossil fuel electricity generation. Wind is sometimes half the price, storage is cheap. And these trends show no sign of stopping. Okay. So we're headed for a point where, and in some places we see this point happening now, it's cheaper to build new solar or wind storage than to keep an existing coal plant running or even to keep an existing natural gas plant running. And that is a tipping point where just the economics, independent of policy, will drive massive disruption of existing industry. In 2018, solar power made up around 2.3% of electricity generation here in the US. That number may seem small, but it's an impressive leap from 2008, when solar comprised a mere 0.1% of our electricity. Across the country, in utility after utility, What's become fringe is the idea that you might do, build another coal plant, right? No one is really doing that today. The surge in solar installations has been driven by a steep decrease in the price of photovoltaics, the technology that powers solar panels for both residential and utility scale use. Since the 1970s, costs have dropped tremendously. Back then, solar on the ground was about $5 a watt, so 50 cents or more per kilowatt hour. And solar is down now today in the best large commercial applications at one to two cents. So a factor of 50 reduction. And on rooftop systems, if you finance it right and you're in a good location, your effective cost can be under 10 cents. When we get to roughly 20% of our peak demand available in storage, we will be able to run a renewable only system because the mix of solar and wind, geothermal, biomass, all backed up with storage, will be enough to carry us through even some of these potentially long lulls. In the meantime, expect to see solar installations continue to rise as prices fall and incentives and regulations spur development. Thank you.